When did that happen? About a month ago, I turned 66 years old. It was a fun birthday. I went to Charleston. All good. I don't really mind growing older, so that definitely didn't cross my mind. But I'll tell you what did cross my mind. The fact that at 66, I'm closer to 70 than to 60 now. What I started thinking about are the decades ahead. And when I look ahead at my life, I'm probably going to be here on this planet for at least a couple more decades, maybe even more. And the last thing I want is to feel frail and weak and just not my best. I started looking back at my life and my fitness level at different points in my life. <laughs> I came across this picture right here of me at 58 years old, so about eight years ago. Look at her, all happy in her little bikini on her favorite beach, <laughs> really oblivious to what's to come. Then I started looking at my fitness level now, and I'll tell you what, I wasn't that impressed. So if you look at eight years ago and look at my fitness level today, there's quite a difference. <laughs> and I'm left wondering what the heck happened. I know for sure that as I grow older, I don't want to feel frail. I don't want to feel weak. I don't want to slip and fall and break my hip. We've all heard about that story of Madge who broke her hip and that was the beginning of the end. I don't want that for me. I want to feel strong and agile and flexible and just at my prime for every single year ahead. That really created a curiosity in me for what can be done to stay as lean, strong, fit, and healthy as possible into my late 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. When I look at my pictures from eight years ago and compare them to today, it's quite a big difference. So I really wanted to understand how did my body go from fairly fit, fairly lean, and healthy to where I am now. That question brings us right back to this. <laughs> what the heck happened here? This right here, this bat wing, is indicative of what's happened to the rest of my body. And there's really three things going on here. First of all, you can see that I have more fat in this area than I did before. It's the extra little cookie, it's the scoop of ice cream, it's the piece of chocolate. Year after year, those little bits and bites add up to excess fat on our bodies. In addition, where's the muscle? There's a muscle underneath here, you just can't see it because it's atrophied. And you know what? In a spectacular act of betrayal, our bodies lose between 3 and 5% of our lean muscle mass every decade. I know. It's not enough that we lose collagen year over year. We also lose lean muscle. So the muscle that used to be there is still there. It's just atrophied. It's underdeveloped. The last thing that causes this little waggly bit is looser lax skin. As we get older on our faces and the rest of our bodies, our skin is just not as taut and tight as it used to be. And there we have the three major ingredients that go into this wiggly waggly bat wing. Once I took a good look at the problem and realized that there were a lot of different layers to why my body was looking a whole lot different today than it did a while ago. At this age, we need to take into consideration all the changes that our bodies have gone through over the years. Our metabolism has slowed down. We've lost a lot of muscle mass just as a function of getting older. We move less and we're probably a little bit more careful with our movements. There's a lack of agility and flexibility 
and overall our bodies just aren't functioning as optimally as they did when we were in our 30s, 40s, and maybe even 50s. Becoming lean, strong, agile, and flexible as you grow older just takes a little bit more effort. It's not as easy as it was when we were younger, but you know what? I think it can be done. One of the things I know for sure is we need to work a little bit harder and a little bit smarter to outmaneuver Mother Nature. The bottom line is we need a good strategy, a strategy that is effective, that's doable, and that has long-term results. The first thing that I wanted to look at comparing the pictures of what I used to look like to what I look like today is how do I build more muscle? That right there is a great question. The reason why I was mostly concerned in the beginning of my research on how to build more lean muscle mass is because muscle burns more calories than fat. Fat just kind of sits there. Muscles are hotter and they burn more calories. And what we know is that whatever direction your body is going in, in other words, getting leaner or getting fluffier, it continues in that direction. Lean muscle burns more fat, which creates a leaner body, giving you the opportunity to build more muscle. Fat burns fewer calories, so those calories that go into your body are not being burned up by the fat on your body, and it can tend to just get fluffier and fluffier and fluffier, which I think is where I'm at now. So how do you build lean muscle? Well, the answer is there's no getting around it. You have to lift heavy things. Whether it's a free weight, a weight at the gym, it could be your body weight. Or you can create resistance with things like exercise bands. Whatever method you choose, you really need to lift heavy things or create quite the tension in order to work that muscle. The more you work that muscle, the bigger it's going to get, the more calories it's going to burn, the leaner you're going to look, and then it starts becoming a self-perpetuating cycle. Now, if you look at my bicep muscle right here, it's a little bit bigger today than it was a month ago because I actually started <laughs> on my fitness journey about a month ago. But as you look at my arm, you can see the muscle right here but surrounding it is a lot of fat and a lot of excess skin. So my bicep doesn't look as lean and firm as it could if I didn't have excess fat on my body and skin that's a little bit looser. When we talk about changing a body's chemistry from being a fat creating machine to a fat burning machine and changing the structure of a body from one that's a little fluffier to a little leaner, the term that they use now is called body recomposition. In other words, you're restructuring your body to be more lean, less fluffy, more of a fat burning machine, more energetic, and a body that just feels a lot better. When I look at this whole topic, I'm not really thinking about how I look. What I'm really thinking about is growing older and feeling strong and capable and agile and flexible as the decades move forward. As we get older, we lose some of our flexibility. It's harder to get down on the floor, to get up off the floor. Our hips become a little bit tighter. It's just a matter of the years marching on. I want to stay as flexible as possible because I like to move. I like to do a lot of outdoor things. I want to have a life that is as full as possible and being flexible is going to help make that happen. In addition, as we grow older, we sometimes can lose our agility. You know that thing where your toe hits a little crack in the sidewalk and you almost go down but you catch yourself? I want to make sure that I always catch myself and I'm sure that you do too. My goal is really to feel as flexible, as agile, as strong and energetic as possible. And if I end up looking better along the way, that's just icing on the cake. The good news is, is that there's so much wonderful research out now that wasn't available 20, 30 years ago. We really know so much more about how the body functions, how to build lean muscle mass, what causes us to get fluffy, what causes us to get stiff, and what causes us to lose our balance more often. There's a lot that can be done. Even someone who's in their 60s 
70s, 80s, and more. Do I think that a program like this can be successful for someone my age? Absolutely. I'm pretty optimistic, actually. I started my workout training program and changed up my diet about a month ago. And the good news is, is I've already lost three inches off my waist. I will take that all day long. And what I know is as my body builds more muscle and I have more lean muscle mass, I'm going to be burning more calories, getting less fluffy and stronger. As you guys probably know, research is my deal. <laughs> And I have been researching so much on this topic. How do we really make this happen? And today I am launching on a get fit journey for my 66 year old body. And I hope you're gonna come along with me. I'm going to be sharing everything I'm doing, including changes in my diet, my workouts, what supplements I'm taking, and what little secret hacks am I incorporating into my life to create a leaner, stronger, healthier, more flexible body. The cool thing for you is you'll be able to incorporate anything you want. You can add one change or all the changes. It's going to be up to you. I'll be documenting every single thing and outlining all the little tips and tricks that are going into my Get Lean, Strong, and Healthy journey. You'll be able to follow me here on the channel and learn everything I'm doing and see my progress in real time. I actually think that that's gonna be kind of fun. I'm clearly a little fluffy now. I'm not as flexible as I'd like to be. I'm not as agile as I'd like to be. And we're going to be able to follow along the progress and find out what really works and what we don't need to waste our time on. I'll be sharing before and after pictures at different intervals, talking about what I feel is really fun and really worth it and what you might as well just forget about. That's just a waste of time. In addition, I'm going to be adding fun workout videos to the channel. So you'll be able to get fit along with me, raise your metabolism, start creating more lean muscle, and just feel a whole lot better. I know that I feel a lot better when I am healthier, I have more energy, my mood is better, and everything just improves overall. We'll be doing walking workouts together, we'll be doing flexibility exercises, we'll be adding some great little tips to increase your agility. It's all gonna be a whole lot of fun and moving us in the direction of staying fit, strong, and healthy as we grow older. I am working out at the gym now. I'm working out at home and doing cardio at home as well. While I won't be able to share my gym workouts with you guys here on the channel, what I am going to do is include everything I'm doing throughout the week in my Sunday morning email newsletter. If you're not on my email newsletter list and you'd like to follow along with my workout routines that I do at the gym, go ahead and click the link below in the description box and you'll be able to get all the great information directly to your email inbox. I'm going to list my workouts that I do for the week, any little tips and tricks I found that are really, really worth it, interesting things I'm incorporating into my diet, either food or supplements, and all the other good information that I think is vital to the journey that we're sharing together. If you decide to join me for some or all of this transformation journey, I want to strongly encourage you to take before pictures and your measurements and your weight. <laughs> You'll be able to follow me along on my journey, but I want you to be able to follow yourself along as well. I cannot tell you how many women have emailed me, messaged me, made comments below my video saying, I wish I had taken pictures of my skin before I started my skincare journey because the difference in my skin is amazing. I want you to be able to be amazed in the transformation of your own body. It's so much fun and so encouraging to see big changes and big differences. I know that three inches that I've lost off my waist already, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I feel like I won the lottery just with that. And as we move forward, I want you to get those little wins and those great successes to keep you really encouraged along the way. Feeling stronger, more flexible, and more agile as we move into the years ahead is going to feel 
so very good and I would love to have you come along with me. So take your measurements, hop on that scale, snap a few pictures in your favorite bathing suit, things are about to change. In my mind, staying strong, fit, healthy, and flexible as we grow older is one of the most important things that we can do, and I'm so excited to be doing this with you. Again, you can join in as little or as much as you want. I'm going to be sharing everything I'm doing and letting you guys know the result. You'll be able to follow my journey to see me get a little less fluffy and a little bit stronger and increase my flexibility and agility overall. We'll be doing workouts together, both standing workouts with no equipment and workouts with weights. I'll also be doing some rebounder cardio routine, so if you have a rebounder, we'll be able to join in together. And I'll keep you updated on a diet that I think works really well for building <laughs> that lean muscle mass. I haven't been this excited about a new journey in quite some time, and I'm so thrilled to be sharing it with you. I hope that you're going to join me. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see, what topics are really important to you, what kind of workouts that you'd like to join me in. We'll all make it happen here on Pretty Over 50. I am so excited to be starting on this challenge to stay healthy, happy, lean, and flexible into our 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, and I'm tickled to have you come along with me. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. You guys know it just makes my day when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. I'm Kimberly, this is Pretty Over 50, and let's get fit together. I'll see you soon on our healthy journey.